Hello friends and book babes. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I feel like spending money, okay? And that's a problem, okay? That is a very big problem for me. I was finally congratulating myself over the fact that I had become more in tune with liking ebooks because I'm a very erotic and hate clutter type of person probably because I grew up in a family of hoarders <laughs> so I hate clutter and so me becoming a book girly that became very contradictory towards my personality okay so me finally liking ebooks more I was like yes finally I was very excited for myself that I was starting to like just reading on my kindle and then I woke up today and said I want all the books get me all the books so here we are we're at a used bookstore because that's the only way we're gonna afford this desire that i randomly have i'm in the middle of reading the hunger games and i didn't realize i would like it so much but i'm really loving it and so i want to read catching fire physically so we're gonna see if we can get the trilogy here i really like my makeup today no one asked no one cares it's <laughs> We are at the second location now because the first one surprisingly didn't have the Hunger Games. Well, okay, they did. They had the box set of um, the trilogy, but it was the hardcovers. And I'm very picky with books, okay? I don't like hardcovers. I may take a hardcover for a fantasy now and then, but even then I still, like, give me a paperback. I decided let's just try this other place since it's close anyways. Hopefully they'll have it. I mean... Hunger Games is pretty, like, easy to come by at a used bookstore, I feel like. So, hopefully we can get them. um i will never not talk about that okay if you followed me during my vlogmas era you know i complain about the sun going down so early all the time because as a woman i'm not going outside when it's dark you know <laughs> i'm just not doing that so it's just annoying all that to say i did not find the Hunger Games, even at the second store. And I guess it's because the new movie came out, so maybe it's harder to find. Like, I probably picked the worst time imaginable. I probably found the worst time imaginable. Ma Hello? <laughs> I probably found... I probably chose the worst time imaginable to try and get these books. I just went on the Target app and ordered them i'm gonna go pick them up i mean the first hunger games is like eight bucks and it's new it's not used so i feel like that's more bang for my buck so i'm going to eat dinner i made tacos and rice and beans um so i'm gonna eat that and then i'll go pick it up mission accomplished my life would have been so much easier if i just went to target from the beginning but it's okay. And also, if any of y'all are sleeping on the drive up for Target, it slays. I don't know if it's just my location, but I said, I'm here. Two minutes later, if that, they were at my car. Like, here you go. <laughs> I was like, damn, okay. Um, so, yeah. And it was ready within like 20 minutes, which granted, it's two books and they were probably right next to each other. But still. And since i couldn't get the first one the hunger games because it was out of stock it's just gonna ship for free for me 
always try pickup first, okay? <laughs> so you can get that free shipping, if nothing else. One gets a vlog all on its own. So, for this vlog, we're going to be reading A Curse for True Love. <laughs> Libby finally gave it to me. I was so excited. I finished, um, what's the second one? A Ballad and Never After or whatever. I finished that one um probably like two-ish weeks ago and i was going feral for this one i was like oh my god i need this one right now because of the way ballad never after ends which was so surprising to me because once upon a broken heart i wasn't really feeling it like all the girlies were like i literally gave it three stars because I wasn't feral for it. Evangeline got on my nerves. <laughs> I only liked Jax, and I liked Jax in the Caraval trilogy. And he was really the only thing I liked about that trilogy. Um, so I was just like, they better, Stephanie? Stephanie, Stephanie, you better figure this out because I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> but then I got to a ballad of Never After. The plot was so much better. The writing was better. I didn't hate Evangeline as much. I feel like the problem with Once Upon a Broken Heart was Evangeline was so dumb <laughs> that I was like hoping for her downfall at that point. In the second one, she kind of matured a bit. So that was nice. And then the way it, it ended, oh my God, I can't. I'm so excited. <sighs> Just... I just want Jax to be happy. I don't even care. I don't even care if he like ends up with Evangeline. I just want Jax to have his happy go life, you know? I love him. I love him with everything within me. Oh, and I want Apollo to choke. He can choke. That's all. Dude, when I tell you, when I tell you, I read this book just so much faster. I mean it because I have been reading it nonstop and I'm already almost halfway done. <laughs> and it's been like two, two, three hours. But I'm going to stop myself because if I continue, I'm just going to end up finishing it tonight. And it's already about to be midnight, so... I will see you guys in the morning. Though, so, does it make me insane and a little toxic to want Stephanie Garber to do a book for a uh, caster? <laughs> Is that weird? Is that kind of crazy of me? I'm enjoying the book a lot. I wish we didn't have so much POV of someone. This character, he, they're giving tampon energy to me if you know you know i'm already halfway and i just need it to like hurry up <laughs> no because it is literally about to be 4 p.m and i haven't picked this book up i woke up like oh my god let me hurry up and eat this up i got like three hours left kindle says <clears throat> and then i got on tiktok and now it's 4 p.m but, but, catch me at 7 p.m. finished, okay? Let's get into it. <laughs> hey friends, I finished A Curse for True Love last night. Took some time to really sleep on it and see what my thoughts were. Um, it was, it was a book. So a lot of hype around this book coming out, so obviously the expectation was a little too high probably but i don't know it was just after thinking about it a little bit it wasn't it wasn't that great <laughs> like i read it in two sittings okay it was very easy to read very quick i read it in six hours total um and it kept me entertained the whole time but i feel like there was too much moments of 
Apollo's POV and not enough of Jack's POV. So I think there should have been a lot more of Jack's. Um, I think I was expecting more moments of Jack and Apollo uh, and their beef. I was expecting more of that to show up, but that didn't happen. And then the way it ended, it felt kind of abrupt. Like there was so much left to the imagination and also like, I feel like we just didn't get enough of the couple. We didn't get enough moments with them, I feel like. And there was just so many questions still left unanswered. And, like, they answered one question, but in more of a vague riddle type of way. Like, you gotta, like, just think it through yourself type of way. Like, the apples situation. It was just, like, I don't know. The way it ended was weird. So, I then learned that three, like, bonus alternate endings. Or, like, second epilogues, I guess. Depending on what version of the book you get like if you get the Bar Barnes exclusive edition there's a second epilogue if you get the owl crate edition there's a different second epilogue yada 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 and so my book was from Libby so I just had the standard regular epilogue so on YouTube luckily a fellow booktuber here I'll leave her channel down below she really came in clutch she read the second epilogue for the Barnes Noble edition. So that definitely helped with the empty feeling that I had from the original ending. So if you felt the same way and you didn't know about that, definitely go look at hers or go to Barnes real quick and just read <laughs> the second epilogue at Starbucks or something. I don't know. But yeah, so I ended up giving it four stars um, just because I really did enjoy the book. I just didn't really like the ending and not because the ending was bad, just because the ending just left so much to the imagination. Definitely some hints towards her going back into the world, which I would definitely enjoy if there was a caster book, if there was a Lala book. If, like... There's a lot of characters I would like to see a book about. So hopefully she does go back into the world and we see the couple more in the books. But also, like, where was Luke? <laughs> like, they mentioned Luke for, like, a second. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. I've been waiting for him to, like, show up or something or, like, him be somewhere, you know. But they literally just mentioned him once and then never acknowledged him again. So I'm wondering where he is. <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe he'll get a book. I don't know. Like, I it's I don't, like, care about Luke that much, but it was just very odd. Like, the writing was great, but the, the, like, execution of a lot of things was odd. Luke wasn't that big of a character, but he was definitely somewhat prevalent, <laughs> I'd say at least. I only, like, briefly mention him randomly. It was kind of odd. Like, there was just so, it was just, it's an odd book. I guess, to say the least. Give it four stars, which honestly, now I'm talking about the book out loud, it's, it's kind of generous, but I did have a good time. I did like the book the entire time, but towards the end it's just, and then like the, like the last like 10 chapters is what I was like, what, what are we doing? What's going on? <laughs> I it's just I don't know I I don't know didn't even like talk about how they defeated the curse <laughs> I don't know I don't know I feel like she just didn't flush out the plot of this book well enough I guess is the best way to describe it so yeah um this is a very interesting series I gave the first book three stars didn't understand why people were obsessed with it gave the second book five stars was obsessed with it L the ending had me like screaming crying fun up I was so ready to devour the third book and then the third book was great until it wasn't so peace <laughs> thanks for tying along with this vlog with me I hope you enjoyed it Please like and subscribe, follow me on my socials, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Meet me on the street lights. Meet me where the lights fade out. Tell me what it feels like.